Hello and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. We're coming to you live from PTC in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure world. And we've got special guest Craig Kaplan with us right now from ZenLayer, the world's first hyper-connected cloud that's reimagining the future of connectivity. Welcome, and uh, I hope you're enjoying PTC so far. Sure am. Thank you for having me. Really yeah. appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, you guys have so much going on right now so let's pick this apart and, and start with uh, start with one thing here so what are some of the top growth opportunities that Zenlayer and your US and EU partners have been responding to lately that you've been up to yeah we've had an incredible amount of momentum supporting AI machine learning IOT companies and enterprise uh, across North America across Europe uh, mm -hmm. it's super exciting we're enabling hybrid cloud builds and interconnect Activity across the entire globe, uh, simplifying infrastructure and network deployments, uh, and really scaling up our customers in, in areas that are hard to reach and hard to connect to. Yeah, absolutely. And, and AI is is where it's at right now. If you yeah. just don't have a plan for AI, you're going to be left in the dust, right? Right. right. Yeah. So there's um, there's been some buzz about enterprise and. Fortune 1000 companies experiencing challenges with the cloud. For example, rumblings about a multi-hybrid cloud um, and, and cost with that come to mind. So what are your thoughts on that topic and what really is ZenLayer doing to help offset that? Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's a topic for everybody right now and, and we're right in the middle of it. We have incredibly close partnerships with the hyperscalers across the globe, in Asia as well as across the Americas and EMEA. And uh, we were actually AWS partner of the year in 2023. So we're, we're really connecting to the cloud and helping our clients with over 300 plus cloud uh, on ramps. Uh, we're working to, to help these enterprises improve operational efficiencies, reduce costs, uh, and, and really are, are really strong value propositions navigating the complexities of these different international deployments and making the connectivity back to uh, their home offices, across remote offices, to manufacturing facilities around the world. And that's really allowing them to simplify uh, going to market in a fragmented markets in Southeast Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, um, across the Middle East. We're seeing a ton of demand out there as well. So when you want one partner to really provide that sort of deployment on infrastructure and networking connectivity, uh, they're looking at ZenLayer to do that. Yeah, and it's so important to have that partner, like you said, that you can trust to take you anywhere across the globe. You definitely need that these days. Absolutely. So let's talk about the telco side of it and transformation. How is ZenLayer helping with telco transformation this year? Yeah, well, we're incredibly strong in Asia. Uh, and we have uh, Southeast Asia, a fantastic partnership with Telen uh, to transform uh, their platform digitally launch on-demand self-service subsea cable connectivity. Uh, and then we just signed an MOU this morning with Telen to take the partnership to another level. Uh, and we're gonna be automating bare metal as a service for uh, Telen's customers yeah. uh, across the region and allowing them to connect into our bare metal deployments into 70 different uh, data centers around the world. Well, I feel like we buried the lead there. You, you talked about the MOU, and um, that, that's amazing. Congratulations. Well, it's, it's actually not our only MOU. Uh, on Monday, we signed an MOU with Viatel, you know, the largest network operator in Vietnam, uh, to take our partnership uh, to another level as well. Digital transformation, offering on-demand services uh, in partnership with Viatel and Zenlayer. So, uh, you know, when enterprises or infrastructure companies are looking to target uh, Asia, I think you know, Zen Layer is the first place to look. You guys are where it's at, absolutely. Uh, and you, I want to jump back to this. You mentioned some emerging markets just a, a moment ago, and you're definitely known for your impact on those emerging markets. So let's talk about some recent expansions uh, and what areas do you think might be at the forefront for the future? Well, uh, we hope to be the easy button, as, uh, as my uh, director of channel uh, LL would say, the easy button is where we, we take these, these customers emerging markets. So we're looking at, you know, usual spots in APAC that are harder to reach though. Uh, India, Vietnam, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, incredibly strong there. Bangladesh, 
we really cover 99% um, of the internet eyeballs in, in Asia, 200 plus pops in Asia alone yeah. uh, as part of our 300 plus pops. Uh, and then in, in LATAM, we're having a lot of uh, impact there. Uh, we cover 80% of the internet uh, eyeballs in, in LATAM. We're in 18 different pops already in South America, and that's, that's expanding very quickly. Definitely, it's going to be a busy year. I, I can sense this for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, We hope it is. <laughs> yeah, it should be, right? And also a busy rest of PTC. I hear congratulations are also in order because you've been shortlisted for not one, but two of the PTC awards. And we'll find out some of those winners um, tomorrow, yeah. I believe. So you were nominated for Outstanding Support of PTC Vision and Mission and Outstanding Enterprise Solutions. Can you tell us a little bit about those categories and why you were nominated? Well, we're incredibly honored to, uh, as you said, be uh, nominated not just for one, but two awards this year. Uh, I think we have a pretty good chance, uh, you know, of, of winning one, uh, maybe both. We're excited about, uh, you know, it's our mission to really deploy infrastructure and hyper connected, connected data centers for our clients. And we feel like we're really fulfilling that mission globally. Yeah. Uh, and so this nomination that we're so excited about is, is something I think that just really fits what we're doing for our global clientele uh, and just simplifying the complexities of going to market, uh, compliance challenges, the uh, uh, managing the infrastructure, the networking, um, having you know thousands of peering uh, connections and really just enabling uh, you know, digital transformation for our clients. And so we feel, uh, we feel excited about the nomination and, and uh, you know, hope we, uh, we pull the win in. Yeah, it's such great work that you're doing and it's, uh, it's great to know when others have recognized that as well and, and applauded you. So congratulations and good luck. Thank and you before much. we let you go, any other announcements or big news from PTC? It's already been very busy. <laughs> Got any more Well, you know, <laughs> two MOUs down under a belt is pretty good for the week. Uh, I think we'll, you'll be seeing a lot more uh, news from us in terms of our partnerships, in terms of the clientele that we're bringing on. Uh, and so we'll, we'll save some of that, that news for uh, the next time that we get to meet and have this conversation. I look forward to it. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of PTC. Good luck again yeah. at the awards tomorrow. Thank you very much. Really right. appreciate we'll it. We'll be rooting for you. And to our viewers, thank you very much for tuning in and stay connected.